Hi everyone, welcome back to Sketch and Chill. Um, today I thought that we would have a look at drawing a sketch uh, and painting a street scene. Now this is old Havana in Cuba and I quite liked uh, this image because it's nice and colourful. Uh, one or two challenges. I think the main challenge here for most people would be this old classic car here. Um, cars are not the easiest subjects, or at least not for me anyway. Buildings don't have too much problem with those, but uh, cars are always challenging. So, I mean, there's several ways you can go about drawing this car. Um, but first of all, um, the usual thing, how do we start? Well, I just take the image, divide it into half um, horizontally and into half vertically. So it just gives me a very rough uh, guide on which to base my perspective. Now, if it's not completely accurate, it doesn't really matter. I normally uh, do my sketches um, with a fountain pen uh, straight onto the page. I mean, you can use a pencil if you wish. There's no problem with that. But for me, I just like to go straight in with the pen. Uh, but before I do that, I like to have obviously a rough idea of where things are on the page. So that's what I've done. I've made this very rough grid and I've put some lines here um, on this piece of A4 sketching paper. Uh, OK, well, just before we get on with that, a couple of things. Where do we start with a sketch like this? doesn't really matter. I generally tend to start at the top and work right and left. Or you can start the left. It doesn't matter any which way that makes you comfortable. I'd probably start this one by... Uh, I'd probably start at this point. This point. It's just to the right of the, the centre vertical line, isn't it? So that's a good point to start. And top to bottom, of course, it's about a quarter of the way down horizontally. So that's probably how I would start. Uh, just before we get into that, let's look at this classic car quickly. There's a number of ways of drawing cars. None of them are necessarily the right way. Um, I would probably just go straight in and, and just and just draw it, you know, starting anywhere, really. Uh, and hope for the best. Um, but I think for the purposes of this video, we might be a little bit more constructive. So what? it's two boxes. That's what it is. It's a small box on top of a bigger box. So the lower half of the car, that's one box. And the upper half is another box. So uh, we'll take a look at that as we get to it. OK, here we are. Continuing with the sketch. Um, as you can see, I've speeded this up by quite a lot because otherwise it would be painfully boring to have to watch me draw this all the way through because it did take me a while to be honest i think it was about 20 minutes or so a bit more um so yeah so here i'm just whizzing through doing my usual uh, loose sketching see the image on the bottom left there which is old havana in cuba and it's a street scene and basically this is what it's all about street scene but for for some reason the um the classic car you see in the forefront is, is sort of inadvertently become the focus of the uh, the sketch really which is no bad thing it doesn't matter somebody's got to be the folk something's got to be the focal point so it might as well be this classic car I was saying that the way I normally draw these is, as you see, I mean, I just dive straight into it and um, and it generally comes out reasonably OK. Uh, as you saw in the earlier part of the video, um, you, you can use other methods, which is um, divide the object, the car, into two boxes, two um, 3D boxes. The lower box and the upper box and and use those as reference points so that can work if you want to do it that way but it's like everything else you know if you practice often enough you you know you finally get to a competent level 
I mean, I struggled with cars for, for quite a while. I don't know why I did, but I did. But anyway, I've sort of got a reasonable handle on it now. So you know, this has come out not too bad. So that's the car finished. You can see I'm using the ink, the, the fountain pen, for quite a lot of the shading. Um, which I tend to do a lot nowadays. But it doesn't matter, you know, use as much or as little as you, as you feel is necessary. Uh, this is speeding along about six times normal, I think. One other thing you may notice if you look at the image and then look at my drawing is that <laughs> it's not that close to it. You know, you could say I've made an awful lot of errors, but it doesn't matter because it's all about the overall impression. Now, this is not an exact copy of the image. It's, it's a long way from being an exact copy of this image. It's just my interpretation of that image. And if it's not quite right, I say it doesn't matter it's what it's how it ends up that counts and and you know your brain fools you into thinking it's seeing something perfectly you know legitimate if you like so um sort of coming towards the end now and um and then after this of course um, I'll do the painting and that's where the fun begins, what it does for me anyway. So, yeah, we're coming towards the end now. Just a few. I'm just fiffing and faffing about here. You know, you can keep going like this forever, just putting bits and bobs all over the place. But, uh, yeah, nearly finished. And then we'll get on to the painting. Okay, here we are with the painting now, just doing the sky. It's nothing like the image, as you can see. I'm just doing it um, the way I feel like doing it. It really doesn't matter. Um, I'm doing the blue around the buildings uh, just to make the buildings stand out a bit. And now I'm just randomly uh, putting bits of paint here and there on the buildings. Only very roughly using the images as a guide. Um, I never follow the image exactly. It just It's just there to give me a very rough idea. Less is more, so I'm trying not to overdo, uh, to overdo this part of it. Probably leave quite a lot of white space. Hopefully, I will. And clearly, as you can see, I've speeded the video up again because otherwise we'd all die of boredom. You know, again, I don't know how long this took me to do in real time. I think it was about 15 minutes, maybe a bit longer. I don't know. But. Uh, it's a lot better to do. This is why I'm obviously narrating on top of it. Doing the road now, a bit of sort of browny pinky combination and leaving um, patches of white paper here and there. You can see how, how I'm working here, very randomly, mixing colours here and there. And uh, I'll probably shortly be um, drawing around the contours of the buildings just to highlight them a bit. But anyway, clearly you can see that the, the classic car is the focal point of the image. Nearly finished now. There we are, just 
finishing off with some outline. Uh, I'll probably do a little bit of grey fibre felt tip in a little while. And maybe a couple of white highlights here and there. 